Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin. Wassalatu wassalamu ala ashrafil anbiya wal mursalin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. First of all, I would like to thank the organizer for inviting me to give a keynote speech. And uh, I would like to welcome all the um, presenters and also the participants of the International Conference on Contemporary Issues uh, 2023, in short, ICCI 2023. Uh, today, I would like to talk about the concept of Islamization of knowledge. Before we uh, discuss the concept of Islamization of knowledge, uh, we need to understand about uh, what uh, secular, secularism is. Secularism is um, defined as the separation of religion from civil affairs and from the state, from the administration or from the government. And uh, the concept of secularism may be broadened to a wider uh, environment and to a wider context, including education. So if, if we broaden or, or extend to education, secularism uh, implies that the, the certain knowledge is uh, separated from religion. When we talk about, for example, economics, secularism says it has nothing to do with religion. And so other, other uh, subjects also apply. You know, for example, uh, computer science, pure science, uh, medicine, uh, medic, yeah? So secularism uh, uh, says that uh, these um, subjects or this uh, knowledge, or some people call modern knowledge, is separated from religion. So that is uh, the concept uh, which uh, Islamic scholars uh, oppose. So uh, Islamic scholars have tried to detach from this concept of uh, secularism because uh, Islam covers all aspects of life. Uh, all knowledge are uh, uh, Islamic as long as uh, there is an adjustment or integration of uh, Islamic uh, concepts, Islamic values into these uh, so-called modern or contemporary knowledge, like economics, management, computer science, pure science, and others. So, Islamization of knowledge, or IOK, is a, a complex concept. It is more than what its literal meaning uh, may suggest, insofar as the pure religious, social, and political dimensions of the term Islamization are concerned. So the struggle is still going on because uh, it is not as easy as it um, may at first suggest. So as a complete school of thought and a philosophy, Islamization of knowledge signifies the adjustment of certain forms of knowledge to the contents of Islamic science. Uh, 
uh, for example, economics. Yeah? Uh, so there is a need to adjust the contents of econo economics yeah, to the contents of Islamic science. It's because um, uh, in Islam, it covers uh, every aspect. So it's, uh, economics itself cannot be detached from Islam, cannot be separated from Islam. So, so back to the concept of uh, IOK. IOK, Islamization of knowledge, uh, signifies the adjustment of certain forms of knowledge, certain forms of knowledge, to the contents of Islamic science, or the struggle to fortify the position of Islamic science within the context of contemporary knowledge. Yeah, the struggle to fortify the position of Islamic science itself within the context of contemporary knowledge, including its various perspectives and points of view. So, what is uh, Islamization? In, 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 in general, Islamization is a discipline that descri describes the form of character and Islamic identity as a way of life. Islam is a way of life. Yeah, Islam has its own worldview. Yeah, in Islam, God is the creator. Uh, and uh, it, uh, uh, it is uh, comprehensive in the sense that Islam covers all uh, aspects of life. Islam is a deen. Islam is a way of life in which uh, there is an integral view of the concept of knowledge and uh, the concept of God. So everything that we know is uh, from God. Everything is created by God. So the, the, the issue of secularism is that it uh, separates, uh, it, it separates our spheres of life from religion. So that's why uh, that's why uh, that's why Islamization comes in to integrate the the concept of God, the concept of religion, uh, into the and uh, into the knowledge, all, into all kinds of knowledge. Yeah. Uh, that, that we call the uh, contemporary or modern knowledge. The concept of uh, Islamization of knowledge was introduced by Sheikh Muhammad Naqib al Attas in the late 1970s. Uh, so the IOK, the Islamization of knowledge, uh, aimed to detach knowledge from Western culture or from secularism. In, in, in secularism or in uh, Western culture, knowledge is uh, separated from uh, religion. When, when, for example, su certain subjects is introduced, uh, it, it does not uh, include, it's not inclusive of religion. So it's a separation of knowledge and religion. So the Islamization of knowledge aimed to detach knowledge from Western culture. Means Muslims uh, do not think of uh, the knowledge as understood in the Western world. So, so Islamization of knowledge aimed to detach knowledge from Western culture and civilization, to replace it with Islamic concepts. Because uh, 
Uh, Islam is uh, comprehensive. Islam is conclusive. Islam comes in every knowledge that we uh, that we uh, teach, every knowledge that we develop, be it uh, computer science, economics, management, or others. So we want to replace the concept of knowledge from from uh, Western view with the uh, Islamic concepts, with the Islamic frameworks and, uh, and values. So the uh, Islamization of knowledge was to occur in the fields of education, in the field of culture, manifesting in changes to the syllabus in institutions of higher learning and niche areas of interest in selected research uh, institutes. In the, field of the, in the field of culture, however, however, it uh, resulted in unintended consequence of Malay literature being heavily character, characterized by Islamic elements. So in the integration or the Islamization of knowledge, <coughs> uh, the um, Islamic concepts, Islamic values is integrated into the contents and the syllabus of the courses that, that we teach at uh, higher learning institutions. Islam, according to Ismail, uh, Professor Ismail Al Faruqi, uh, the uh, Islamization of knowledge seeks to distill the sciences with Islamic values as a filtering tool. If the contents and syllabus uh, are not compatible with, with uh, Islamic values, then, <clears throat> then um, uh, we need to filter, we need to filter so that the, uh, the knowledge is uh, compatible with the Islamic values. So the uh, Islamization of knowledge is a form of dialogue a typology between modern sciences and religious values. Moreover, the uh, Islamization of knowledge is also a form of scientific confirmation of Islam. The uh, Islamization of knowledge is an idea that has been at the forefront of Islamic discourse or discussions for several decades now. It, uh, the, the IOK, Islamization of knowledge, or some uh, people call it uh, integration of knowledge, involves bringing Islamic values and perspectives to all fields of knowledge, mathematics, economics, management, uh, medical sciences, pure sciences. So it involves uh, bringing Islamic values and perspectives to all fields of knowledge from the humanities to the sciences, in order to create a truly Islamic knowledge system. So the concept of Islamization of knowledge is rooted, is based on the belief that Islamic knowledge is not just limited to religious studies, but Islamic knowledge encompasses all aspects of life. For example, economics. So economics 
is also Islamic, as long as we filter, we integrate the, the Islamic values into it, into economics, for example. And it goes with other courses. Um, so that, that, that is uh, our struggle that has been going on. So this uh, concept is uh, based on the, 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 con the idea that Islamic knowledge is not just limited to religious studies but it uh, covers all other uh, fields. You know? It is based on the understanding that Islam provides a comprehensive worldview. Islam uh, covers all aspects of life. Um, Islam cannot be separated from our life. It is a way of life. So it is based on the understanding that Islam provides a comprehensive worldview that uh, can guide us in all areas of knowledge and human endeavor. Islamization of, uh, why, why is it important for us to know and to struggle uh, to, this, to continue our struggle to the uh, concept of Islamization of knowledge. Why is it important? Islamization of knowledge, or some people call Islamization of education, will help men to learn how to surrender his will to creator. We are all creatures created by Allah Almighty. So Islam means submission. So we have to submit or surrender our will to Allah Almighty. So it's, it's very important that we understand the Quran as uh, it is the main or the, the, the primary source of uh, the primary source of Islam uh, or the primary source of Sharia. So the Quran describes all wills of, uh, of Allah Almighty uh, required to develop man's life. So it's very important that uh, we as Muslims learn uh, about the Quran uh, because learning Quran is the most important criteria of Islamization. Uh, the Quran is the primary source of, uh, of Sharia. What are the challenges in the Islamization of knowledge? Um, now the the struggle to uh, the struggle for Islamization of knowledge um, has has been uh, going on, and in the future uh, there there are challenges, and uh, one one of the challenges is the lack of a universally accepted model of Islamization. How are we going to to implement the the Islamization of knowledge or the integration of knowledge? And uh, also the shortage of staff who are capable of doing Islamization. Uh, and uh, uh, I would like to take this opportunity to. Uh, congratulate uh, Triple IT uh, who have uh, uh, who have organized uh, many uh, uh, workshops, uh, dialogues, conferences on 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 the um, integration of knowledge. So 
triple IT is uh, together with uh, IIUM uh, are champions that have done an excellent job in, in providing uh, the necessary courses uh, and, and having the, the dialogue and um, uh, in, in, in order to spread the knowledge about this, this concept of Islamization of knowledge. May Allah Jazakumullah Khairan Jazakumullah Khairu Jaza. So, and there are also problems with uh, funding the Islamization uh, program. Uh, and uh, many students are not uh, interested in, in the concept of the Islamization. So there is a need also to, to have this, um, uh, what we call uh, courses uh, or, or workshops to create uh, awareness on the importance of Islamization of knowledge. Uh, besides uh, uh, integrating the concepts of knowledge in, in the syllabus that we teach at universities. So the um, universities uh, uh, such as uh, IIUM, uh, Unishams and other institutions of higher learnings are now uh, in the process of um, improving the the uh, the syllabus uh, by integrating the the, the values of uh, Islam into the contents of the syllabus. Although many students are not being interested is in Islamization, so so is is uh, the job of the educators. So there is a, also a need to train uh, lecturers um, by, by providing uh, more uh, workshops to the uh, university lecturers uh, in order for them to uh, better understand about this uh, concept of IOK. And also challenges related to the language of instructions, uh, because uh, right now there are many, the the language uh, such as English is 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 the main uh, language uh, of instruction because uh, uh, universities such as IIUM, Unishams. Uh, have uh, international students, so so that that is, I think, part of the challenges also. What IOK is not the Islam is, the Islamization of knowledge is not about uh, rejecting modern knowledge. We do not reject uh, modern knowledge. We do not reject economics, we do not reject management, we do not reject computer science. Uh, and it's not about dismissing contributions of non-Muslim scholars. We do not dismiss the contributions of non-Muslim scholars. Rather, uh, Islamization of knowledge is about critically engaging with knowledge and seeking to integrate Islamic values, Islamic perspectives into the modern knowledge. So the challenges uh, in implementing Islamization of knowledge in uh, institutions of higher learning uh, one of the challenges is the uh, Islamization of knowledge is, is a call 
to Muslim scholars and intellectuals to take an active role yeah, in shaping the knowledge system of the Muslim world. And uh, it, it, it requires a deep understanding of Islamic principles, and it requires a commitment to critical engagement with knowledge. So that it has to be like the circles of scholars discussing and continue um, to discuss uh, and to make uh, and to disseminate information about the Islamization of knowledge. So that is uh, the, the challenge. So the uh, university lecturers uh, need to take an active role in the integration of knowledge. And as it is, there are still uh, many uh, university lecturers who are not uh, aware or who are not equipped uh, and have the proper skill or proper knowledge about this uh, Islamization of knowledge. So that, that, that is a challenge. How can we implement it, the Islamization of knowledge if we do not understand? So, so uh, there should be a challenge, there should be a call to Muslim scholars to take a more active role. And the potential of this uh, Islamization of knowledge, the Islamization of knowledge has the potential to transform the Muslim world by providing a knowledge system that is grounded, that is based on the Islamic values and principles. It can create a new generation of Muslim scholars and intellectuals who are equipped to deal with the challenges of uh, integrating the uh, the uh, Islamic values into the uh, contents and syllabus and uh, equipped with the knowledge to deal with the changing uh, the, the the changing of the world. So in conclusion, the Islamization of knowledge is an important concept that has the potential to transform the Muslim world. It requires uh, active role. It requires a commitment uh, to Islamic values and principles, as well as a critical engagement where the Muslim scholars must take an active role in promoting the Islamization of knowledge in their respective institutions of higher learning. By embracing this concept, we can create a knowledge system that is relevant to contemporary issues and rooted in Islamic concepts, Islamic principles, and Islamic values. Thank you very much, uh, everyone. Jazakumullahu khairul jazak. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.